Alrighty folks, good morning to you, or good afternoon, whenever you're watching this. It's currently morning for me. We're currently sitting at uh, 5.09 in the morning. 28 degrees down here in the valley, so it's gonna be pretty cold today up there at Strawberry. It's slacking off a little bit this season, on Strawberry that is. I haven't really got out there for any more videos like I usually do, so figured I'm gonna buckle down and go do it. My buddy was supposed to go with me today, but he texted me at 4 in the morning saying he had food poisoning, so Looks like I'm just rocking this one solo, but you know what? Got the truck bed all loaded up with my gear. I'm gonna quit talking, start driving, and uh, hopefully we can uh, produce a good little video for you guys today. Let's get to it. Turn it up. Here I'm not the first person out here this morning, but you know what? It's still pretty daggum early. I'm the second truck out here. Alrighty folks, made it out here to Strawberry. Haven't fished this part of the lake this year yet, but I've done really good here in the previous season, so I'm pretty excited for this. It's currently 6.45, so we've still got roughly an hour before actual sunrise, but I'm gonna take this opportunity to grab my fish finder out of the back seat there and uh, boot up the uh, maps on it and see if there's a good spot out here in the bay I want to go hit. Pretty well. Um, that other angler who's here before me, turns out he's been here since like a 4.30 in the morning and he's got one of the uh, hand drill auger adapters and uh, there's an excessive amount of packed snow and slush on top of the ice and he got down to the ice level and it's just not going through so he's been <laughs> waiting for someone to show up with an auger so really nice guy I forgot his name already but um uh, I might be fishing with him pop a few holes for him and looks like he's got a snow duck so that could be kind of useful but anyways get throw the bibs on we'll get fishing Well, let's see if the old Strike Master can prove herself. I hope so. Hey yo! Nice! guys really quickly after this clip dropped my gopro in the snow and uh didn't realize it until now while editing it uh must have froze in there so the audio every now and then is kind of messed up for most of the video here until it's thawed out a little bit later so i apologize for that also a little side note brian you're an awesome guy out there never wound up getting your number so if you see this be sure to hit me up anyways back to the video Gonna go ahead and drop down right here. Find our mini jig and uh, one of their orange ball heads, a white mini jig tube. Oh my gosh! As well, got some discount codes for you guys. Help you save some money while you're at it. And I'm gonna send this guy down this frozen hole. Oh, fish down there. Fish down there. No fish on this one. Got one. Doesn't feel big. Oh, got a little bigger. Cutthroat. There we are. First blood. Oh, don't go down that hole. Oh, that could be a problem. Come on, cutthroat. And that was not supposed to happen. Oh, got him by the tail. Cool. All right, let's get this out of the way. <laughs> and Sierra Slammers has struck us with our first cutthroat on the ice this morning. Oops. First fish to do right there. Not a bad cutthroat out of here. Smoke that little jig there. Heck yeah, dude. 19 and a quarter. Not a bad fish. He was actually bigger than I thought. 
Alrighty guys, strawberry treating us right here. Not a bad way to start the day. 19 and a half inch, uh, 19 and a quarter inch, sorry, cutthroat trout. Let's get that guy back. The drink. He wants to go. There he goes. Oh. It's pretty thick ice, so he's got to work his way down there. We'll take it. We'll definitely take it. Strawberry cheating us right. That's three fish to turn down the little tungsten now. That's not the jig's fault necessarily though. Fish are just interested in something a little bigger today. Yeah, there's one on this again. I just dropped this down there. Oh, you bit it. You got it, you got it. Got him! Oh, another one! I just barely dropped this jig back down too. Come here, buddy. Another cut. There we are. Not as long, but he's fat. Got one, another, I'm doubled up! Look at that! That one's bigger! Woohoo, <laughs> boy! I can't hear you, I got two fish on the ice! Oh, big one's unhooked. Get a quick measurement on him, he... That one's 19 and a half. Biggest fish so far, 19 and a half, just get him back really quickly. <laughs> Alright, now let's get this guy unhooked. Big one's trying to go down the hole. He didn't... <laughs> I was able to grab the big one by the tail and pull him back up. There we go, guys. Two cutthroat on the ice. <laughs> Not bad. Let's get him back down. <laughs> I'm not even measuring this guy. He's a little smaller. There he goes. Oh my gosh. Oh, he, he came back out. These fish can't find their way down that hole. Here, guys. Come here. Come here. All right. Let's see if these guys can figure out how to navigate down all the way here. We'll give them some help. Push them a little. Big one figured it out. Oh, he's kicking. There he goes. Figured it out. <laughs> Had to help that second guy a little. He kept coming back up the hole. Oh, there's a fish down there. Get back down there. Oh, missed him. Got him. <laughs> he doesn't feel as big. Yeah, he's just a little guy. What's up, buddy? All right, buddy, come back when you're a slot buster. Fish number four. Oh, one coming. Oh, you bet it. Got him. <laughs> I can't even get my second rod down. He's a little better size. Yeah, oh yeah, he's got some weight to him. Here he comes. Oh, there's still fish on the bottom. Ooh, look at that one. Look at you, buddy. Oh my goodness, look at you. Dang, son. He's ready to go. Another 19 and a half incher right there. We'll take it, we'll take it. I'm marking two more fish down there. They seem to be coming out now if that sun's out. See you, buddy. Freaking toad. See your slammer's getting torn up, but let's just drop it down and see if we can get one real quick. Oh, here he comes. Got him! Hey, <laughs> buddy! It's like one of these two has to bite eventually. They just kept circling ever since I dropped it down there to him. Okay. Oh my goodness, look at how red that fish's cheeks are. Come here, buddy. Come here. Woohoo! Dude, just tearing them up. It was like six fish within like 20 minutes. They're just destroying that CR Slammer. Uh, good fish, quick measurement. 19 and a quarter. Nice cutty. Get him back real quick so he doesn't freeze. That means let me go. There he goes. Shoot, man. All right, well, three fish just swam past the, that tungsten and didn't even stick around. So, uh, and I just missed a little bite on this, so that might make our decision which one's getting pulled out and swapped for the bigger tube jig here. These strawberry fish, they tend to, I don't know what it is about them, but they like to get real active for a bigger bait. Yep, see? This, oh, I'm wrapped up on myself. This isn't a bigger bait, per se, but it's bigger than that tungsten. So they chose this over that. Ooh. Hello. There you go. Oh my gosh, look at the head on that one. Look at that one. Get up here, buddy. Holy cow. Holy cow. Um, that might be a 20-incher right there. Holy cow. All right. Quick little measurement. 19 on the dot. Just another good strawberry cut. Let's get this guy back real quick. He wants to go. Shoo. Oh, cold hands, cold hands, cold hands. Fish number seven. All right. The air slammers are still proving themselves here. 
Oh, here comes another one. I just got down there. Oh, he's circling on it. Got another one. Wasn't even down there for 10 seconds. On that drop. Holy cow. There's number eight coming up the hole. Another strawberry cut. Okay. That one's seen better days. I'll give it, um, yeah. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. All right. Get this guy back. He's probably a 17 incher. There he goes. Oh my gosh, cold hands. Frozen. My line is. There we are. Chasing it. He's acting like he wants it. Ooh, ooh, look at him sm shooting over to it like he wants it. Got him! Hee <laughs> hee, boy! I was like, I just got slack. There we are. Big tube for the win. Holy cow. Oh, my bucket's frozen to the ice. It is so frozen. Hey, hey, get out of there, buddy. All right. What's up, dude? His bite slowed down. Uh, he's actually got a camera in the tent over there. And we watch like four fish come up and just look at his jig and instantly take off. But there we have it. He's probably going to be 18. Yep, called it 18 inch cutthroat. Not a bad size. Let's get him back so he doesn't freeze out here like I am starting to. There he goes. Nine fish. He's trying to get down that. There he goes. There's so much ice. Alrighty, folks. Made it back here to the truck. Hopefully, you can hear me okay. The wind has kicked up astronomically, so got off the lake there. Fish weren't buying anyway, so crazy how you got that one hour window right in the morning where they were just smacking it and then they just shut off but you know what made the most out of it not complaining at all definitely a very successful first uh quick little trip out here hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this one as much as i enjoyed making this one if you did enjoy watching it be sure to let me know by hitting that like button down below and go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already that way you can stay tuned for the next episode of lip rip and outdoors if you enjoy watching the channel and want to help support go ahead and get yourself some proven fish catching lures down in the description below with those links i have there you guys already know i proved that they work so they'll work for you anyways guys as always until next time tight lines and i'll catch you later